Good morning, friends, and happy Tuesday. We are packed and ready to hit the road for Birmingham. Uh, we forgot something, so we had to turn back around. So it gave me plenty of opportunity to start the intro of the vlog. So we are on the road again to Birmingham. Our GPS says about three hours, so we're hoping that's what it takes. And then we're gonna go to Barber Motorsports um, which is a really cool like old time car motorcycle museum or whatever. So I'm excited about sharing all that. And uh, yeah, so we'll be in Birmingham, excuse me, Birmingham today. I hope that you guys will stick around with us and come along. I'm excited. I mean, I get excited like to be able to go to new things and do new things and go to new places that I haven't been before, but it's just like, I just kind of wanted to stay home. <laughs> uh, but anyway, it's okay. One day, one night. Yay, one night. So let's go to Birmingham. Yay, on the road again. You know how you turn the key on your car to start it? Mm -hmm. Well, this one here, you pedal, you oh. are the starter. Oh, <laughs> cool. We got like an Indy car up there. That's cool. Neato. Yeah, that's cool. Elevator. That is cool. Look at this place. This is so cool. Oh, by the way, you guys, if you were wondering, we're at Barber Motorsports in Birmingham, Alabama. And we're gonna be here for about two hours and then Brian and I actually have to leave to go to Montgomery. So we are not gonna be in Birmingham very long. Yeah. So you still have to, you know what though, Brian? Yeah, that's uh, quite the fancy car. They're so little. Lotus. Yeah. <laughs> look at this elevator. Oh my god, look at it. It's, now it's coming down. Oh, that makes me so dizzy, I can't look down there. Oh, look at this. <sighs> <laughs> all going up? Yep, all the way up. That's my boss and his bike right there. Huh? Being a drug We may have to listen to this elevator. We better be moving. We may have Yeah. The, the biggest elevator. Yeah, this is a big, big, big elevator. You should have brought a picture of it. I don't know. They got a lot of cars down there. It's real tight. It's real tight. There's a right over here underneath of us. That one's so over little 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 the little 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 floor, little 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 all right, so this is the racetrack out here. That is so cool. I'd love to stand on that bridge though while they go through. That is really cool. Wow. Oh, there's a truck out there. He's putzing. Where? The truck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> over there. The track down yeah. There. Huh. Oh, you can stand here and watch the race. Mm -hmm. They were running They just took a picture of your That's cool. I like that. That thing's really good. Yeah. That is just cool. Look at that. That's a that chipper. That thing's funky looking. Wow. Look at the seats on those things. They're like so narrow. So what do you just lay across the top of that? So you lay across the top of it and you hold on. That's so uncomfortable. Huh. Very uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah, I bet. 
I thought mm. it could go for a long way. Look at that exhaust pipe coming off the back. Looks like a horn. I wish you could hear it. Yeah. Oh, there you go. They're like so uncomfortable to ride. Ducati. Mmm. That one's cool too. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? I like the white yep. striping. Yep. I like everything about it. I like that it has like the little 1933 on the. Yep. Yeah, very cool. <laughs> And this is cool too. A 1966 BMW. Yeah, this would have been a cool place to bring Andy if he's never been here before. He would, he he would have spent like three days here. They got married. <laughs> huh? No. Like I said, any motorcycle with boat would love to see these things. <gasps> Look at the cool ones on the other side, even. That's kind of cool. Yep. Yeah, utilize the structure of the building. Mm-hmm. Oh, lots of bikes. Mm-hmm. Nothing but bikes. Bikes, bikes everywhere. And then there's Chris. <laughs> I have never seen one of those before. Oh, yeah. Wow. A lot bigger in person. Yeah. yeah. Don't they race these? Yeah, yeah that's what I thought. Yeah, I thought so. I thought I seen these at one time being raced. That is pretty wild. There's so many bikes. Go walk around here forever. Look at that little sidecar. How crazy is that? Wow. There's more information on it. Sidecar nurses transurine pian journey into two wheel monster. Wow. Okay, yeah, look at that. It's like a little camper. Yeah, that is the cutest bike. Yeah, <laughs> it's a 1959 ZT Zita. Oh, for real? Those are pretty cool. Yeah, this is really neat. Oh, really? Isn't it the coolest? <laughs> I can see Chris pedaling on that. Man, Ice cream. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. That is very cute. So, this 2007 shop rat was a project bike built by students at Chelsea High School in Alabama. This was a team effort, and the result is a stunning example of custom motorcycle art. So, this is the bike. Wow, they did a really good job. They did a really good job on that. Wow. Hmm. Wow, yeah, I like this one. That one's cool. Wow. I gotta take a picture of that one. Boy, if that ain't riding in comfort, I don't know what it is. 1914. That's you know, really that cool. Like? Don't touch. <laughs> That's the 
1914 Slino. It's for the what? Yeah, oh, it's oh, that's the feeling. Wow, it's well, that is 1914, so huh. So, you guys can see that this is the elevator that we took up to the top floor. But look, there's a Formula One car on top of the elevator. I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see it. Look at that. Oh, there it goes, and now it's going down. I see it. <laughs> Huh, that's cool. It's really neat. Yeah. Yeah. Those are so cool. That's this is more my era. I love like the old roaring twenties, thirties, forties. Love that. Oh, look at that guy. Hello, dude. It's wood. Yeah, I don't know why he has a tiger, but why would they have a tiger? It's a little bizarro. Wow, look at that one. Oh my goodness, Brandon would go nuts right now with these. <laughs> wow. And then they have an American chopper in the front. And all those bikes over that way. Wow. That's all wood? What? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, look at that. 1885? Wow. How do you ride it? Sit on that saddle there. Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. That's that one's pretty cool too. Hildebrand. Oh, this was the first oh. mass produced. Eighteen ninety four. Oh. Wow. Oh. Oh, Eighteen It's like something from Willy Wonka. <laughs> it is steam. It is bright. Yeah. Eighteen sixty seven. A velocipede? That's what it's called. Wow. See, that's awesome because I love steampunk stuff, so that bike would be like so cool for me. I would love that. Love it. And all of these. Very cool. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that one's sweet. I get that's a bike. That's. <gasps> yeah. A wall cycle car. Yeah. Look at that Indian there, right? A wall cycle car. <laughs> yeah, I love that. This place goes on forever. I was just going to say, it looks like they took that right out of the barn. Hang on. Look at all those bikes. Wow. That one is a 1912, 1914. Wow. This one's a 1914. 1922. Wow. 1924. And this one, 1913. Wow, look at how like old that one actually really is. Got like the seats, look at that. Hmm. Cool. 
So this was the size of the very first Harley Davidson shop where they built their very first bike. The same size. And here's the story of it, the Harley Davidson factory. Might be kind of hard to read, but. Oh my goodness, you even go like inside this thing. Oh, really? Yeah. That's cool how they have that. So it's like a bike race. That's really neat. This bench is a like tire with spokes. That's cool. Did you see this bench, Bry? Oh, tire. Yeah. <laughs> That's neat. You can see uh -huh. where this one got all scraped up. Wow, Chico Hot Springs, Montana. You can see the Brian. Look at this one. All the on the scrape sides. Yeah, yeah. That's got some stories. Yeah. Huh. Just put me back on my bike. <laughs> this guy didn't get the memo. Right. Keep it on two wheels. <laughs> There's a long distance endurance rider rode this Ducati from San Francisco to New York City in a time of 36 hours and 57 minutes, setting a new record. In addition to his feet, Gary rode the bike in another 10 endurance competitions of 24 hours or longer, winning nine of them. Wow. He made it from San Francisco to New York in 36 hours and 57 minutes. That's really cool because they have like the um, staging and the yellow lights, the red lights and the green lights to go. Drag racing. That was cool. I'm sure it's louder than that, but that was cool. Uh. That's what I told you when we were up there. I said you walked through here. Yeah, see? Look at the size of that tire. The Eliminator. Or this. There's like no seat on that one. That's like all metal. Look at that thing. Good. That must have nitrous or something. Ooh, look at that one. <laughs> oh wow, look at this. Um, it literally like, kind of freaks me out a little bit, but look at that. You can walk right over this and look down. What? How cool is that? So this is like all the dirt bikes, which they have like, you know, replica dirt, but it kind of goes across like this. And then it goes brah, brah, across the top. <laughs> yeah, across the top. Yeah, so it jumps over. <laughs> I know, isn't that neat? Oh no, it's kind of freaky. <laughs> See, she won't do it either, will ya? <laughs> no, see, it, that freaks it's me out. Far down. I mean, I know. Go through there. I mean, I know you're never going to go through it, but that's just. Look at the dirt track they made. 
And they're, they're showing you jumping. Yep. Bra. That's a close up. <laughs> what do you do? Oh, ick. I couldn't do it. And then after that, it comes down this way. Yeah. And they continue on all the way over there. That's really cool. They're kind of scary though. You know how many people have walked across this? I know. It's kind of like walking across Barbara Mandrell's pool with the glass in it. Ooh. Scary. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. You can do it. Where you should go fall to. Ooh, let's all get on here. There ain't nothing to fall on but a concrete floor. Oh, that would be a very hard fall though. No. I'd break every bone in my body. Push you down first. Oh, thanks, Keith. Nice. Yeah, soft landing. Soft landing, yeah. Oh. Oh, she did a two foot. <laughs> These are cool. How do you race those? Oh, there's a second person that goes in it. That's crazy. No way. <laughs> those are his. <laughs> nice. That's a rumble, all right. Rumble Yamaha. I just did some drag street. <laughs> nice. Wow. Ew, you yeah, left a... <laughs> 1996 yeah, don't. Wendell. Road racing. Sidecar combination. Oh yeah, you stand back here. No way. Yeah. You stand? Yes. That's crazy. You've got to be have some big kahunas to stand and do a race. Wow, that thing is weird looking. Huh. This place is really cool. So it shows you all the like outside or you park and sure we can go. We actually have to leave in about 40 minutes and then we're going to part ways from Brian's mom and dad because we got to go to Montgomery. So we got to say goodbye to the fam family back there. I'm getting hungry though, and I'm getting thirsty. This is a very, very huge, huge facility. So if you guys are ever in Birmingham and you guys like this type of stuff, I highly suggest you stop by. I think it was like $15 a person to get in, so that's not too bad. You could spend hours here. I couldn't, but the guys could. But I think we're gonna go check out the other side of this place, because there's like a couple of cars on this side and more bikes. And then I think I might get a drink. Can't bring drinks probably yeah no can't get food or drinks that way so bummer you gotta stay right here in a little cafeteria area well which is not like they have like coke machines snacks little place to sit but you can't bring um no food or drinks past that point and no food or drinks past that point so look at this car so pretty Oh my goodness, and the interior, look at that. That thing is beautiful. It's a Chevy Impala. Are you passing by the Impala? This thing is so pretty. I love that powder blue. A Bel Air Impala, 1958. That was after your time. So they had these cars when you're, oh, I thought when Brian I was, was by me. When I was three. <laughs> yes. Oh, she was three years old and they had these beautiful cars. That is pretty, oh, that is one pretty car. That is a display of horns right there. All those are horns. How cool is that? That is wild. And then of course you got all those cars. That's neat. And then you have bikes suspended in the air. Really neat. Very, very cool. 
and Brian actually had his uh, booth set up right inside those doors over there when he did his show here a while ago. Very cool. We got all the parts to a car hanging on the wall there. Very neat. Yeah, what a cool place. Really, really neat. We're at the elevator again. There's cars over here on this side. Ooh, Porsche. Wow. And boat motors over there. Wow, cool. And then you got that thing all the way up. And all the way down. Yeah. It's a Lotus. And now they're carbon fiber. Yeah. They don't use fiberglass, they use carbon fiber. Mm hmm. Wow. This car is very light. That is really cool to see how it like lights up inside though. Huh. You do. Ooh. And then they have a racetrack in the back for these. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. All the pieces to the car. Huh. That's cool. Really neat. Look at this one. Whoa. <clears throat> Last indie race car. Hmm. And that's what it looks like, like that. And then they put the chassis on, and then they put the car on. Isn't that cool? That's neat how they do that. That's what they did with these kind of cars over here too. It shows you all the pieces that go into putting a car together. Mm, that one's cool. That one's actually really different. Oh. This one still has the keys in it. This one has a key in it. Right, right there. Huh. Go ahead and start that up. <laughs> Cause it's the checker. It's like, I'm the winner. I won, right, do donuts. Yeah, cool facility. This is what it looks like. Alrighty guys, so thank you guys so much for hanging out with us at Barber Motorsports. We are gonna go have some lunch now and my other, Ryan's uh, <laughs> getting his shirt on and zipping his pants off side. <laughs> Cause he's got to go over to this other company and there's my in-laws they're gonna actually go with me to lunch we're gonna drop him off where he has to go and then we're gonna go to lunch and then we're gonna say our goodbyes after he's finished or depending on how long he takes <gasps> Ooh, then we gotta go to montgomery Ooh. alrighty so i dropped ryan off at his place of business and brian's mom and dad and i are going to go ahead and have some lunch and we stopped off at chili's so i'm just kind of waiting for them to meet me here they got caught by a red light so I'm just going to wait for them here and we're going to have ourselves a little lunch and then then we'll probably part our ways but Brian's mom hasn't said goodbye to him yet so that might be a little weird. I might have to go get him and then say goodbye here but oh well let's go have some yeah. lunch at Chili's. Alright so we had lunch at Chili's and I definitely would not recommend eating at the Chili's in Homewood, Alabama which is like on the outside of Birmingham. We're in Birmingham proper or Birmingham but there's like homework you guys get it anyway i would not recommend it 
it. <laughs> that place was gross. First of all, we walked in and like the music was blaring as if we were in the club. And it was like so loud. So I asked them twice to turn it down. And I was actually like, could you guys just turn that down a little bit? I'm like, cause it's, it's like lunchtime. We're not in the club. Um, you know, if I was in a club, then I'd be like, okay, cool, turn it up, you know, raise the roof a little bit, but we're not. And it's, um, you know, two o'clock and we want to have some lunch. And um, so they did finally, but they didn't turn it down like enough. And then um, food was good, so I will give them that. But my father-in-law like finished his plate and he left it like on the end of the table. And she just kept walking by and walking by, walking by. She never grabbed it or anything like that. So finally I said, um, you can take his plate because if you don't, he's gonna end up knocking it over with his elbow. And so she took it and then it took her a few minutes to bring us um, a refill. And then um, when my father-in-law asked for um, creamer for his coffee. She came back and said that they don't have any creamer. So I was like, well, do you have any milk? Because milk will work. So they had milk. So she brought milk. And, um, and then I went to the bathroom to use the bathroom right before I left. There are no paper towels in there to dry your hands and the bathroom itself was disgusting. Um, really, really gross. So, bleh. I was like, okay, it was so disappointing. It's like, I, you know, Chili's is not like my fav most fav favorite place to go, but that was kind of like what I saw really, really quickly that we could just kind of go eat at before we all part parted ways. But um, yeah, gross grow so don't go to don't go to the chilies in in homewood if if anybody's around here just saying but now i'm gonna go to i think target and walk around for a little bit and it's a little bit after three and um i don't know how much longer brian's gonna be so i'm hoping oh ha, it's actually a little bit after two so i'm hoping that my clock is says three o'clock because that's my clock at home but it's actually a little after two so i'm actually hoping that um it's not too late because we have an hour and a half to drive to Montgomery. So I'm gonna go to Target for a little bit and walk around and then um, hopefully by that time, he'll be ready for me to pick him up and then we can go. So let's go to Target. All right, so I found the Target, but look, it's like one of those weird parking garages for Target. It's like, what? How in the world? And how do I get into this place? Like, um, where do I park? How do I go? Where do I go? This is so bizarre. So weird. This is like the one in Atlanta. How bizarre. Huh. This is one of the second time I've ever been to a under garage target. But it's so weird. Hey guys, so remember oh, well, like at the beginning of this month, we came here and stayed at the Hampton Inn in Pell City because Brian had to do or go meet another company. Well, guess where we're at again? We are in Pell City. <laughs> and see, remember that Walmart I said I was gonna walk to? There it is, again. And we actually went to the Hampton Inn right there to see if we could get a room. They're completely booked because of the Talladega race this weekend, um, which is just right down the street. But we had to walk over here to the Holiday Inn to see if they had rooms, and they do. So we are staying here at the Holiday Inn for the night because Brian has four companies that he has to go to tomorrow, and not the one that we were at, not the one that he was at before. So four different ones. So, but that's what we are going to be doing, and we're going to go down here though and eat at oh, I think the City Market right here. They have like a City Market restaurant, so that's where we're going to go eat, and then we might probably walk around Target or I mean not Target. Walmart not sure if we will or not but we shall see but yeah um, this place is packed because of the race so we kind of thought we were gonna be screwed and not get a hotel room because the one behind me was full so but we got a room so yay and all because Talladega this weekend which is Tuesday we didn't really think that it was gonna be already packed or full because of it but it is so this place is booming because of that race but we're gonna go get some food. So we're settling on Cracker Barrel because the other place was a buffet and we do not care for buffets. At least you can get Alabama memorabilia in this one. And Whatever. Auburn. All right, so hey, 
I'm gonna go ahead and do a room tour. We are staying at the Holiday Inn <laughs> Express in Pell City, Alabama. Brian's doing a dance and I'm not sure why. But anyway, so here is the room. Here's the door. I'm gonna turn you guys around and we're gonna start with the bathroom, which looks very, very nice. I love the way that it looks. This is so cute, the way that they have the towels displayed. Very, very cute. And they give you enough wash rags, which I like. Soap, makeup remover, shampoo, bath gel, conditioner, mouthwash, lotion, very nice. And then this is like a little shower area with an extra towel and some soap. Very, very cute and nice. A little area to hang up some clothes. Give you a microwave, some coffee, refrigerator. Very nice. And then over here there's a bench to the right where you can set your luggage and stuff, which is great. And then two beds. And then the room does not come with a Brian, but he's over there anyway. Little nightstand. That's a bonus. Little TV. Bonus. Yeah, you're a bonus. And then a little desk area. And then Brian over there doing some work. And then this is the highway out here to the window, which is I-20. And then there's a parte over by the swimming pool. Herbs. Yeah, they're smoking some, smoking some herbs over there. <laughs> but nice little view. But anyway, this is what the room looks like from this angle. So there you have it.